Welcome to Reach for Healing. I'm Rebecca and it's day 16, which means we'll be journaling statement number six. I'm going to share my screen so we can jump right into it. All right, so statement number six, which is what we will journal today, is as follows. My inner supply instantly and constantly takes on form and experience according to my needs and desires. And as the principle of supply in action, it is impossible for me to have any needs or unfulfilled desires. That's quite a statement. Impossible for me to have any needs or unfulfilled desires. Now, an interesting story that I can share with you is that I had several years back been working, I was working in um, a a job where I was very well compensated financially, but it was not stable and the retirement was okay, but wasn't great. And I may have shared part of this story before, but long story short, I ended up taking another job at a significant decrease in money, but that had much bigger and more robust retirement options and ended up having even better reasons for me to be there. And the reason I share that story is this. We sometimes think about our needs from our own very limited perspective. And so when I made the shift from the very high paying job to the lower paying job and encountered some people in that lower paying job that weren't very nice to be around, I really felt like my needs were not being met. However, the wisdom of the universe is absolute. And so while it felt to me that my needs were not being met, because let's face it, we all want to have a robust salary, a very uh, generous and um, beneficial retirement, and we want to have fun at work don't we? Right. We want to have it all. The reality of it is on this planet, in what many call earth school, we have things to learn. And sometimes those things that we need to learn require that we walk through some difficult times. And so I can honestly say that I believe this statement that it's impossible impossible for me to have any needs or unfulfilled desires, because when I had a great need, for a better option for retirement, that need was met. But it was met in a way that required me to walk through some difficult fields. And I was only able to see that in hindsight, in retrospect. And I can tell you without a moment's hesitation that it was worth every single solitary hard day that I had. And I went through a couple of years of very hard times. It was challenging financially and it was challenging on a personal level due to some um, difficult relationships at that at that that job but again on this on this end of it looking back over that experience i can see that it absolutely was a demonstration of a definite need of an important need and it was absolutely the truth that i don't have any needs or unfulfilled desires And so when we're walking this path, I share that so that people understand that these principles, this journey, this teaching does not suggest that everything is daisies and tulips and ice cream sundaes. We walk through hard times. We struggle with situations that are painful and upsetting. But if we can hold on to the truth and stay grounded in principle and trust in the knowing that all is well, I know because I've seen it, I've walked it, I've lived it, that it is truly impossible for us to have any needs or unfulfilled desires. And so as we journal this sixth statement on this day 16, I hope that you'll think about your own experience and ponder it in this light. I hope you'll come back tomorrow for day 17. And until then, take care.